Welcome to Crypto Investments 101. This will be my first um, YouTube video about crypto investments. Since I'm, I'm allowed to give financial advice, um, I thought about helping you or giving some advice and then it's up to you if you still want to follow them or not. Okay, so cryptocurrency. So right now, as many might have understood, we're in something co called a bear market, which means the cryptocurrencies and everything is just crashing. Or not crashing, but it goes down. And let's look at uh, the number one of all cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin. Here we have it. Um, the all-time high at Bitcoin were last year. And we were at almost 67,000. And the training volume was 42 billion US dollars. So, but it hasn't always looked this big. So let's, let's check. Okay, it's not here. We have 118. Okay, what I want to say is when when a bear market starts and a bull market starts and it, when it ends both of them so let's say here in june 2011 bitcoin had its first bull market which means okay you cannot see it here it says 2013 but in june 2011 bitcoin hit 32 us dollars by november 2011 it went down to two US dollars. That was a 90% drop. And it took around five months for it to go down to two dollars. That was the bear market bottom. The next time was in November 2013. Then it had a bull market. So it went up to 1,000. 100 US dollars, 1100 US dollars, and then it, in January 2015, it went down to 180 US dollars. That's 80% drop. Before the first time was 90%. So right now, or then, it took one year to go down from the new all-time high to the bottom. One year. A little bit more but we can round it up okay the third time we had a all-time high and a crash December 2017 Bitcoin hit 20,000 US dollars and then in December 2018 a year after it went down to 3,200 3, US dollars that's another 80% drop it took around one year, as I said. And now, the all-time high. Let's check here. Here we have. Here it says, November 9, 2021. Okay, 66,000. I think it was closer to 69,000. Okay, if I remember correctly. So, the question is, Will Bitcoin drop another 80% from the all-time high? That means that right now, as you can see here, we're down at 20,000. Okay, a while ago it was down to 18,000 I saw. However, 80% drop, it's almost been like that. Unless it's going to be 90%, then it's going to be even more. But 80% drop, we're going to see Bitcoin at around... 10,000 to 14,000 US dollars. So that might be the bear market bottom. And we're in the bear market right now. So this bear market will take, it's hard to say actually, but around another 11 to 23 months before we're in a new bull market. And then you will see Bitcoin just going to the moon okay however enough about bitcoin or actually not really you cannot you cannot not look at bitcoin so all the other altcoins let's go back here 
these are old, old coins. You have some shit coins too, maybe not on the first, but you have some shit coins here, you know, safe moon and <sighs> stuff like that. Okay. So safe moon, they can go down another 80-90% because usually the old coins they lose even more. So maybe 99% safe moon will drop. Good riddance. Okay, uh, BNB. Actually, Binance. I actually think that Binance this year. Uh, actually, I think now in July they're gonna go down again under 200. I think they can go down before the end of summer around 150 US dollars. Let's say, let's say where they had their all time high here. A little bit hard, but okay. Uh, what was it? It was like more than 600. Does it say 631? But I think it was more. But okay. No wait. I can go like this. 678. Seven, okay. And now it's 200. And I think it's it will go down to like 150, maybe less. Okay. Um. So the thing is. If you don't have much money and you want to invest, I did just a Google search here. The average crypto here it says five thousand dollars, but I saw some say that the average uh, the average crypto wallet was just around one thousand dollars. But the thing is, how to get there? Like maybe I guess you don't have much money. I do not want to have this conversation with people who has a lot of money because I want to talk to somebody who has a dream. If you have a dream, let's see if I can help you. So I'm going to do this investment with you actually. So I'm going to start a whole new crypto wallet. I'm going to invest. I haven't decided yet. I think 100 US dollars could be a good and then just continue every month with 100 US dollars and put it into different tokens, old coins or old tokens. So, but the first thing I'm actually thinking is this one, Terra Classic, the old Terra Luna. Uh, why do I think this is a gem in hiding? Okay, first, Let's check all time high. Okay, all time. This actually doesn't matter now. But okay, here's this one 16. I thought it was at 128. Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Can I find something? There we go. 116. It says, okay, my mistake. Three months. Here we have the crash. I, re I really would like to see this. As I show you here. This graph or the these lines I really want to have a close-up on them more than actually in one month okay I cannot do it here on market cap coin market cap but you can see the trading volume this is June it should be June here yeah look 506 uh, 143 million and then you check on this uh, shitcoin, safe moon. Or 1.2 million, okay. But they're usually around 900 to 1 million. Um, but this is the greatest scam of them all. Okay. Um, I hope you don't hear in the background, there's a train going by here. I have the windows open. It's really hot here in Sweden. Okay, back to Terra Classic. The reason for Terra Classic. Uh, I don't like Terra Labs or the, uh, the founders behind it because they crashed it. That's my opinion, actually. I actually believe that they crashed this token just so Doquan can make his own money, like get really, really, really filthy rich. And then I'm not talking about 10 million, I'm not talking about 1 billion, I'm talking about more than that. So let's see what happens if he gets prosecuted for some country's legal system or not. Okay, back to Terra Classic. One thing that's good, or one thing that's bad first, check on the max supply here, almost 7 trillion. That's really not that good. 
So one token right now is a fraction of a cent. This is not... Yeah. However, I want to tell you something. Terra Classic has... The community has voted to start to burn tokens. So for every transaction, there will be at least 1.2%. So if you have 100 tokens, 1.2 of those will just shoop away. Um, that means that the max supply will decrease. And the idea is that it will decrease to 10 billion. I was actually hoping it could decrease a lot more, maybe to 100 million or so. Okay, so you know what happens when something decreases. When the supply gets less and you still have a demand, no matter if the demand gets higher or if it gets lower, that means that, um, yeah, the price will go up. Exactly how much it will go up, I cannot say. Actually, yeah, I could say that even if it goes up to one cent, you have one cent right there. Is that reasonable? Okay, let's look at the fraction of a cent here. That means they're like almost nine times up. So nine excess. So if you invest one hundred dollars and you will have nine hundred. Then you can take those nine hundred and invest it somewhere else. And if you lost, it's tax de deductible. You can deduct it from your taxes. I, at least I can do that here in Sweden. It's so like if I in invest 100 US dollars in something that's like let's say 1,000 kroner and I lose everything I can take those 1,000 kroner or 100 dollars and deduct it from my income tax that means that my the thing I'm working with like the taxes I pay for my salary I deduct it from there and then I can get the money back because this is an investment so even if, let's say you pay, you invest $10,000 and lose $10,000, you can deduct $10,000 then from your taxes. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you that I do not feel for doing buying right now. Okay, I actually bought yesterday on one account. Um, when it was, or last night. When I was down here again, because I sold it around where were we? Here, I didn't set, set it up here, but around here I sold it, so I made a profit, and then I kept it. I kept it. I didn't do anything here. I kept it because I thought, no, it's green here. It's not going to do. Boom. Oof. And then. When I was taking my daughter to kindergarten this morning, I checked it. Okay, it's going up again. I have to... I have to buy before. Okay, so even now it's not that much up. It's not that much positive, but... This was the time because it was red. You don't buy when it's green the market. Even if it's just one day green. Let's say check seven days. Okay, even seven. Is this true? No, it cannot be true. See, this is. Yeah, okay. But. Okay, when I check coin market cap on my phone. Okay. It actually changes. Uh, this is trading volume, it's 245 million. And full diluted market is this market cap 775. So what I want to have said with this is that we're going to invest in this together. I'm going to create a new vault on MetaMask. I'm going to show you 
how you can create a wallet. And then I'm gonna show you how I, okay, I'm gonna transfer money from my Binance account to my MetaMask account. It's quite, it's quite easy actually. However, I do not wanna show you what I have in that one because right now, most banks in Sweden don't approve um, don't approve Binance because it's been on the Swedish financial like SEC their list warning list but that's quite strange actually it's been there since last year but it's just this year so my bank just no you cannot transfer anything there and you cannot get any funds back so I actually got a bank account overseas with card and everything and that bank there I can transfer my money from my Swedish bank account to that bank account it's instantly actually I just used my Swedish visa card to deposit money and then I can use a visa card from that overseas bank and deposit to Binance if I need to and I can do withdrawals the same way actually so and on MetaMask I can if I have winnings there or if I have crypt crypto profits I want to send it to my bank account I just transfer it to Binance and then I just withdraw it to my bank account it's so easy actually I'm going to show you one day how it works but the first thing is together we're gonna create a wallet but I'm not gonna create a wallet today because I actually think here this is gonna go down a little bit more I really want them it's like 0 0.3 zeros and then 1165 my guess is that it will go down take away the 65 in the end okay uh, I might even think that it's gonna be get another zero but you have to keep one thing in mind I have a date in my when I did some calculations about this in um, that July 22nd it will start to get green it will go up a lot start to go up not all-time high or anything like that not because we have different market now than we had before the crash because then the max supply wasn't this large it was a lot smaller so you have to keep that in mind so actually the date is I would say I don't remember by in my head what date the Luna crash was but I remember buying it first on Friday 13 May 2022 I bought Luna for the first time I was having lunch with my wife and she told me have you heard the news about the Luna crash it's like oh, it was days ago that's old news okay but then I just okay she was eating I was eating I took out my phone open MetaMask thinking should I buy some okay but the good thing was the day after when I checked it it had gone up I think it was like 2000% 2000% and I was like why didn't I invest more but then in the next five six days it went down again but I still made six or seven times my money or my initial investments in Luna and then I started reading up on about, about Luna and yeah I think actually it's a good idea to make some money there so until next time I will say good night now it's after midnight here in Sweden so I have to go to bed I'm going to the office tomorrow or oh, no wait I'm not going to the office tomorrow I'm staying home huh. good choice right okay good night everybody until next time we might uh, start to invest next time but right now have a look at Terra Classic. It is really something. Good night.